welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a really nice pink toned Valentine's Day look that wasn't crazy. Like that should be the title of the video. So I basically used all ColourPop eyeshadow for this look. Super simple, it's all matte except for the inner corner, obviously. But it's just a really nice, simple Valentine's Day look that definitely will last you throughout the night or the day or whatever your date is or if you're just chilling at home and want to do something pink do it. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I think it's a really, really pretty look and I think it's so wearable, so Valentine's Day appropriate. Definitely let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. Um, I love to hear from you guys in the comments below and I think that's all I have to say. My hair is slicked back today because I just, I can't deal with my hair anymore. It is extremely long. I don't know what's going on with the color. I just don't know. But I'm in school, I could. I don't care. I'm telling myself I don't care. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you wanna see how you get this Valentine's Day look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I was gonna do a voiceover with this tutorial because it is freezing in this room, so I had to turn a space heater on. But I wanted to talk through it, so the space heater is on. I hope it's not too distracting or loud. So I've obviously already done my eyebrows and I've already primed my eyes, just because it's such a simple routine. I used my Brow Wiz in chocolate on my brows and then I used my Laura Mercier Eye Basic in the shade Wheat on my eyes for primer. So I wanna use some affordable eyeshadow today. So I'm using ColourPop eyeshadow. So I'm starting with the shade right here called Labyrinth from ColourPop. It's a really pretty like mid-toned mauve shade, not too dark, not too light. And it'll be perfect for the transition. So I'm just gonna focus on one eye to do on camera and one eye to do off camera. Also keep in mind with this, with this tutorial, I'm planning on cleaning up the outer part of my eye. Obviously I got a little crazy with my primer and I think it looks really cool and like it's sharp. So keep that in mind as you're watching this tutorial. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that done and it looks pretty good, I, if I do say so myself, we are gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper, more red version of that color, which would be the shade Soft Core, also by ColourPop. It's a little bit more like, I'll compare the two. Here's Labyrinth, see what I mean? It's a little bit more pink, um, a little more red in it, I suppose. So we're gonna go in with that, same brush, same area, just to give it a little bit more of a pink tone to the look. Okay, so you can see the difference now between these two eyes. This one just has a little bit more pink to it, a little more dimension. This one's just kind of like chilling. So we're gonna zhuzh the other eye up now. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a crease color. I'm gonna use this new brush actually that I got from Milani. Like I didn't know they even had brushes, but I was at Walmart the other day and I saw they had a little brush set. They had three little brushes. They're little travel size brushes, so they're a little bit small, but they're just, I feel like, perfect size and it comes with a like a crease slash lower line lower uh, lash line brush it came with a little flat shader brush kind of like this one which is good for like packing on shadow a pretty nice actually looking blending brush I think it was like $11 or something in the travel size that's nice okay so I'm gonna take the crease lower line sort of brush none of them are labeled so I'm just kind of making up the names to do and I'm gonna take my uh, crease shade, which is ColourPop Stay Golden, and then just start kind of mapping out how I want my crease to look. So for my eye shape, a little bit, kind of like a winged um, eyeshadow looks best with my eye shape. So I like to pack my crease shade on the outer corner of my eye and kind of drag it outwards. I'm gonna do with this and it is going to look crazy at first just a little heads up so so then I'm taking my NYX brush again and a combination of labyrinth and soft core and I'm just gonna blend this out Okay. 
Okay, so both eyes I think are done as far as all of that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my outer corner a little bit just with a makeup wipe. So I like to like pull my eye back and just do that. Nothing too crazy actually, I didn't need that much cleaning up. But the trick is making sure both eyes are even because one could be like eh, one could be like eh. so that's the hardest part I think. All right, I like the way that looks. So next I'm gonna go ahead and do a winged liner, which is gonna be very difficult because I cannot even tell you the last time I did winged eyeliner. camera maybe that'll be a little easier and I'll be right back all right done and done I'm not mad about it so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up that eyeshadow again just going along uh, the base of where the eyeliner is just to give it more of like a you know all kind of sharp and aligned sort of situation do the same thing over here just like that Let's go ahead and move on to the skin now, which is, okay, pretty important for Valentine's Day. So we want our skin to look really nice and glowy, so I'm gonna go in with my MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Peach Light to prime my skin. Um, yeah, I love, I love MAC Strobe Cream. I think it's definitely probably my favorite illuminating primer sort of uh, product. I think it just does a really nice job of making everything look so nice and glowy, uh, but maintaining kind of a natural look. Next for foundation, I wanna go with something that's gonna make me look flawless, but not cakey, or like I'm wearing like a ton of makeup, cause that's just not, that's not a date night vibe for me. I wanna be comfortable, I want my skin to be able to breathe, I want my skin to show through a little bit. Um, at the same time, I don't want, you know, blemishes and stuff to be like apparent. So my favorite foundation for that is um, my favorite foundation at the moment, currently, the past year, has been MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It just has not let me down. It looks so nice on the skin and I'm obsessed. So this is the shade NC15, which honestly is a little dark for me at the moment, but we will blend it and it'll all be okay. So I'm just taking my beauty blender and just applying this to my face. For uh, concealer, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. It's just a good staple to have. I love this concealer. So I'm just not going to apply too much, but apply enough to where it'll cover up any sort of either areas I missed with foundation or areas that just need a little more coverage because they're a little discolored. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye area with my favorite that I'm almost out of, my L'Oreal Hydro Perfect Powder in the shade Translucent. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with that same powder. Another reason why I like this foundation so much that I forgot to mention is the fact that it basically sets itself, like it never is very tacky um, after you apply it, which I love because I hate those foundations that take forever to set. I think I might bring back the eyeliner because I haven't worn eyeliner like I told you guys in literally forever. But believe it or not, I used to wear eyeliner literally to school every day winged eyeliner like this every single day to school and i like i looked good remember it was the elf eyeliner the one that was like a dollar that's what i used and it wasn't like just a wing like this it was a wing that actually went from my lower lash line like all the way out it was quite the look i think i look pretty cute though 
No lap. Also, now I'm gonna go in with some um, bronzer. The good old fashioned butter bronzer. It's just always works for me. I love it, it smells good. So I'm just gonna apply this to the sides of my forehead just to give a little bit of like a glowy, bronzy look to your skin. That's always a fun date look. And you guys already know I'm gonna be rocking this look while eating fried rice on the couch with Austin. For blush, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Blush Blush in the shade Peach Beach. I think it's pretty because it's a really nice, um, just like a pinky nude blush that isn't gonna be overbearing on your skin, which is perfect because the last thing, I don't know, blush just, it hasn't had a moment for like a, a while. Blush isn't really a product that a lot of people get super excited about, especially ones that aren't like nude blushes. So we're not gonna go over the top with blush and I went a little over the top a little bit on the other side, so I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line now, just using basically the exact same colors I were was using previously on my eyes. So I'm gonna start with the shade Labyrinth, which was the first shade I used on my eyes and just on that little Milani brush to do my lower lash line on camera so this shade I am just putting all over the lower lash line then I'm taking the shade soft core which was the one that was a little bit more pink and applying this to the outer half of my eye and then taking the shade stay golden and applying this just to the outer corner of my eye Let's apply highlights. So I'm gonna go in with MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is what I always use because it just works and it looks good. I'm doing the tops of my cheekbones, right above my arch of my eyebrow, just to kinda, well you can't really see it very well. Let's, let's go in with a little more. Just like that. I'm gonna go in my chin a little bit, just a little. Cupid's bow. My nose. my nose just to give it that cute little boop. so then for the eyes I also like adding an inner corner and a brow bone highlight so for my inner corner I'm actually gonna go in with Kylie Cosmetics Tahiti which is a golden toned I would say a pink blood pink highlight this is what it looks like basically. I'm trying not to like spill it, um, but it looks like that. It's very pretty. I think wearing a colored highlight on your inner corner is the most fun way to wear a colorful highlight, in my opinion, because it is so, it's so much more subtle and it just, I don't know, it adds something to the look that I really like. I love the inner corner highlight. It's definitely completes a look for me. No look is complete without it. Even on my like my no makeup makeup days. I just love throwing something in the inner corner. And I think these highlights are still available on her website to buy, but I think they're in different packaging now. I got this with the vacation collection. I guess that was this past summer, wasn't it? Seems like it was so long ago, doesn't it? When these came out. Okay, so next, as scared as I am to say it, I'm gonna apply false lashes. I think false lashes on a date night are absolutely stunning because it just is flirty and cute and I don't know, it makes you feel cute, you know? So that's why I like false lashes. So I got these from iLure. These are the Lux lashes, I think is what they're called. Oh, they're the Lux Baroque lashes. That's what they look like. They might be a little much for my eyes, but we're gonna make it work. And I'm gonna apply these off camera because I haven't quite mastered the on camera lash application yet, so I'll be back with that. <laughs> okay, so these false lashes actually look really, really pretty, I think. So those are the iLure Lux Baroque lashes. They came with lash glue, but I just used duo lash glue. Okay, and next I'm gonna do a little bit of a lip. So whenever you're doing a lipstick for a night that you're going out, you want to make sure that it's something that you, like a formula you trust, something that you know is going to 
last through a meal maybe. So my favorite formula is the Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick Formula. These last through everything. They're so incredibly comfortable to wear and they also fade really naturally. So if they do fade, you're covered because it's a really nice gradual fade. So I'm going to use the shade Bear With Me, which is such a pretty pinky nude and I think it'll look good with this eye makeup look as well. Also, they have such a nice smell. <laughs> and then lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. You guys know the theme of this look has been glow, glow, glow. So why not? Why break the tradition now? Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. I think that this is a really pretty Valentine's Day look for those of you who don't want to wear hearts on your eyes. Okay, so my Valentine's Day makeup look from last year will be linked down below. I'm not sure on the quality of the video. Um, I believe it was a cut crease, so if you are feeling a little bit more fancy for Valentine's Day, definitely check that video out. I will have it linked down below. That is all I have to say. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in next week's video. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day.